Hey, what's up guys? My name is Fanistro, and today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial on this effect I did in my um, JXMZO squared edit. And uh, it's basically just like a nice little warp in the background. And I did not create this effect, uh, Angel did. And I also have, um, so you're going to need the the sapphire plugin as I did in my last video but you you can also download the preset in the description because I made a preset that looks similar to it it's not as nice but it looks pretty similar to it and uh, if you guys are wondering why I have all the dislikes in the video just read the description of that video and I want to show you guys something really quickly my little brother just showed me this and I thought it was funny go on google type in do a barrel and then if you just, so you type in do a barrel rule and then it just does a barrel rule for you which I thought that was pretty funny but um, I'm just going to get into the tutorial quickly. So I have my cinematic here. Same one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this distort. Okay. And then what I can do is for the length that I want the effect. So I'm going to start at somewhere like here where I can see the gate properly. Because I want the effect to happen in the gate. And you um, mostly you want this effect to happen in a doorway or some like a window or somewhere where you want to solo out the effect because if you apply the effect just by itself so let's type in distort chroma where is it just I'll oh, just keep typing distort chroma just add that and it looks like complete shit if it's added by itself it's a really slow plugin so that it might make yeah it just looks like crap if you add it by itself so I'm just gonna put this on I'll keep it on full for now but when I add this I'll put it on like half or something so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to mask out my gateway like that. Okay, and then like that, then like that, and like that, and like that. Okay, then what I'm going to do is going to hit M, hit mask path. And whoopsies, I just did something. Okay, I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard, and now I'm just gonna click off. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna edit it every 20 frames. So I'll go ahead 20 frames, and then you have to go back 20 frames as well. You just need to edit it around and uh, make it look nice and everything. Okay, so say you're completely done that. Now you notice. So say I have my thing completely done, like here. Say it's tracked there. You notice the effect is overlapping on this pillar. So what you can do. So I'll just go back here. I'll go to like where um, I'll make like a keyframe here for the effect, like somewhere where the pillar is in the way. So I'm just gonna edit it quickly. Okay. So say you notice the pillar is in the way, and you're like, "Wow, the fudge balls, man! Don't enjoy that." So I'm just gonna show you how to get rid of that quickly. One second. Okay. And I'll bring that up. Whoopsies. Okay, bring that up. And like that. And that's not perfect, but whatever. Okay, so say it's like that. You're like, call the balls. Make a new solid. And call this mat. Uh, just turn it off for now. And then what you're going to do is mask out this pillar. Or whatever is in the way for you. Just mask it out. Hit M on your keyboard and mask it out Um, like every 20 frames or whatever. Then when you're done hit F4 on your keyboard and then make this alpha inverted map okay so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add this onto that effect and as you can see we have this effect what we can do is play around with it a bit feather this to about 25 okay so now we have a more clear looking effect then what I'm gonna do is drag the blur down I think I might have used two yeah so not, not, not 23 two no a bit more maybe I had it so it was like like the bare minimum that it looked all right so yeah that looks decent then what I did in my effect in my uh, in my edit I keyframed the blur lens one second if I put that to zero yeah okay yeah keyframe the amount and then I went over like one two three four five six frames and say this is a, still in the doorway sorry my phone is vibrating um, oh someone's calling me I'm just gonna tell them to stiff it for a second Okay, um, I set the amount from uh, 1 to 0, and now it became clear, and you can see the image properly. So that's how you do it. Now, what I'm going to show you is my preset I made. 
So as as you guys know, I said I made a preset. I'm just gonna go to a, a frame where you can see the doorway and it matches along with it. So I'm gonna have a down, download link in the description. And the way to install it is you get the preset, you go to your computer, then go to uh, your hard drive, whatever, go to program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS6, and it only works for CS6, so sorry if you don't have it. Go to plugins, and then, no, not plugins, sorry, go to presets, then you can put it in like a custom preset folder, whatever you want. You can make a new folder called FNT if you really want, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is on this adjustment layer, I'm gonna go to animation, recent animation, uh, wait, apply animation preset, because I have it as a as a user preset, so it'll go here, but if you have it as a, a preset that you put yourself, it'll go here. So I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna doorway to heaven effect, and as you can tell, it does not look too bad. Like, it's actually pretty nice. What what I have on here is a CC Blobberize, and then I have some turbulent displacement, and I have a magic bow look. So it's not too bad, actually. I kind of like that. You can use both of them. I think this one is cleaner, but the other one looks cooler. But I think, yeah, so I have, um, I already have it, the values for the blobber, Blobberize or whatever. I have it, like, keyframed whatever to it um, going off whatever so just uh, play with the keyframes and everything and uh, yeah so you guys can use both of these effects this one is pretty nice um, it's totally up to you what you guys want to use but both of them look pretty good and uh, yeah so that's about it I'll have the download link in the description for the CC Blobberize preset and I also have the download link in the description for the Sapphire plugin uh, the, the link to my last video that had the Sapphire plugins uh, installation how to do it and everything. But uh, yeah, so that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys sometime later. See you guys, and goodbye.